I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You women need to stop mothering your men. And this goes for any man, not just myself. You need to stop mothering your man. Because you were doing more damage than good. And any connection that you're trying to form will only be eroded. Us men don't need mothering. And we sure as hell do not need our asses wiped. We can take care of ourselves. And this is what women don't understand about men. Mothering a man is quite technically speaking, destroying any potential friendship along with relationship that could well form later on down the line. And this has to stop. It has to stop. I don't find it remotely funny. And I sure as hell do not find it. Helpful. If you want to be supportive of your man. Your non-biological son. Then my advice would be to stop mothering him. Now you're not going to like what's being shared information wise. But that's entirely your problem. It's not mine. You need to stop mothering your men. Because like I said. You are damaging any potential friendship. Along with relationship later on down the line. Because it's not mothering that us men require within a woman. And I don't need to be taught about anything. Now, from your perspective, I'm sure you're doing a good job and you think, you wholeheartedly think, right, that you're doing everything by the biblical word, yeah? You're honestly not. Because you are keeping your men trapped and enslaved within childlike state of mind. You are stunting his spiritual and psychological growth. And this has to stop. It has to stop. Right, you can laugh and joke about it all you want. But there will come a time, like I said, where if you go too far with it, you are going to destroy what could potentially be a friendship and a relationship with me later on. Because you chose not to listen. When it comes down to marriage, we don't require a mother for a wife. The last thing us men require is technically speaking to be mothered within our relationship, or better yet, marriage. Because these marriage dynamics do not last. Why? Well, I'm going to explain why. Sooner or later, said woman will actually in fact lose attraction for said man. It's a well known fact. And you need to stop interfering with how we live. And how we operate. We go by what the gospel tells us to do, right? And the last thing we need are for women to actually, in fact, mother us. 
And when I say us, I'm referring to the male species here, and not just myself. Once again, from your perspective, you think you're doing everything right. You think you're actually, in fact, doing everything that the gospel taught you to do. But you're not. You're actually, in fact, doing more damage than good. Because you're keeping your man within a childlike state of mind. And some of us chose the narrow path in life in order to grow and evolve and age gracefully. And we don't want to be dragged within our childhood by people that think they know are actually in fact doing what's right. When in reality, all they are doing, technically speaking, is interfere. They are interfering with one's life. Now, I'm sure you mean well, and I bid you well. I also bid you the rest of a healthy journey. But you have to stop. I'm not going to mention any names, you know who you are. I know, I'm not referring to my biological mother here either. This has to stop. If you want a connection with me, if you want a connection with your son, right? Then you're going to have to stop mothering. Your man. Or better yet, your son. You're going to have to stop mothering him. We don't need mothering. It's a well-known fact. We don't need mothering. And to put it frankly, I am getting triggered. And I am getting extremely frustrated. And let this be a final warning. Not to keep on going down this path that you're going down. Otherwise I will be left with no choice but to cut off any said connection you think you have with me. Until you learn. I'm not your little boy anymore. I'm not your little boy. I'm growing. I'm evolving. I'm aging. And if you can't contribute to that, and if you have to drag me away from that into being, you know, this said, like, child that you honestly see me or envision me as, you know, then once again, like I said, you've left me with no choice but to cut off the said connection. Because, like I said, from your perspective, you think you're doing everything right. From my perspective, you're not. I know how my mind works. I know how it operates. The same goes for my heart and my soul. Sort it out. Sort it out. And for the last and final time, stop what you are doing. Because I, personally, am not your little boy anymore. So why do you feel it necessary to treat me as such? It's wrong. And extremely selfish. It's a wrap.